Suku's summer collection finally launched. I picked up two of the pieces. I gotta say, I am very tempted by a couple of the other pieces in this collection. I'm gonna hold off though and give it some time and really sit on it and think about it because I'm trying to be better about my makeup purchases. But I love the entire thought behind this collection. This is called the Touch of Nectar collection. Suku's website says that this is a summer collection inspired by Sweet Nectar. It creates a makeup look that is translucent and glowing with vivid color that makes the skin shine in the light, brightening up the collection. I have to say, after using both this blush and this quad, I feel like I can see that coming through. It definitely felt like that in the promo photos, and I was really intrigued by both quads, but I only picked up one. And all three of the blushes that come in this little pot, this is brand new for Suku, they have never done this before. I feel like definitely bring out that entire description. And I love this formula. This is an amazing formula. There are two quads to this collection. I picked up the Cold Strawberry X Deep Berry. You can really see that in this, my dog, sorry. You can really see that in this quad. The other is the Orange Peel in Olive Brown, number 139. I am still tempted by it. I know warm tones are making a comeback. I'm gonna sit on it a little bit and figure out if I really want it or not. But honestly, I'm trying to be good about my makeup purchases. And I'm not sure if you guys saw this or not, but Suku has already released images of their fall collection and I'm like, whoa, pump the brakes just a little bit. I just got this summer collection. I really wanna enjoy it. But those promo photos came out for fall and I'm just like, feeling a little overwhelmed, just, just a little bit. And I know it's gonna be a while before it launches, but I wanna enjoy this one first. And I not too long ago got the spring one and have been loving that one too. So other than the two quads, there are three cream blushes, the Cream Touch Blush and Lip. It is SO1, which is more of a beige, and it has a touch of orange undertone to it. I watched Alicia's review on this, and she mentions that you can kind of see that coming through, and I felt like that was absolutely gorgeous and genius to work with that orange palette. And I have this one, SO2, Ichigo Ame. This was gorgeous pink. Like it, I thought it was gonna be much brighter. It's definitely not as bright as the promo photos had suggested. It's a little more subdued. It's a little more muted. Like on my cheeks, it's definitely pink. You can definitely tell that it's pink. And in the video, like it might come across as very bright, but in person, it's a little more toned down. It's not as bright as the pictures make it seem. And then there's SO3 Kuanami. Hopefully I said that right, oh my gosh. It's quite a bit more berry and I really want that one for fall. I just, I am loving all of these purple undertones, purple tones. I don't really wanna use it for this quad so much, although I think it would go great, but I can think of some other quads that I have from Suku that it would be perfect with. There are two treatment wrapping lip glosses. I'm not big on lip glosses, so I did not pick them up. The pink shade is described as a bluish pink grape and the orange is more of a light and milky orange. I thought in the promo photos they both look incredible, but I'm just not a gloss person. I will typically reach for a lipstick or the moisture glaze lipstick in general from Suku over a gloss. And then there are two nail colors. However, you can't get those shipped to the US. One's more of a purple and the other is more of an orange. I am happy to see that instead of doing a powder blush for this collection, they did a cream blush. I think that is absolutely genius. The collection is said to be used for a more dewy look. I do my makeup in the way that best suits me, so I use powder. I don't like having a dewy feeling or a sticky feeling, if you will, to my face. I will always powder things down. I'm not more of a skin tint person. I tend to do that for like just a quick on the go look or for work. Otherwise, I like a medium base, medium buildable base. So I'm using that over my Suku, the foundation. And if you are new to Suku, welcome. Suku is amazing. I only wish that it was more accessible to the US, that we had retailers here to buy it from. I have bought all of my Suku products from Selfridges. They sell out very quickly. There are still several pieces of the collection in stock on Selfridges. I just checked this morning as I'm filming this. So you don't have to feel like you're in a rush, but it's limited edition. Suku does a lot of limited edition collections, but in general, I, I feel like 
this collection didn't sell out as quickly as a few of the previous collections have. This one's doing pretty good, but it's an incredible brand. I love a lot of the pieces that I've picked up, the foundations, the blushes, uh, most of the quads I've picked up have worked out great for me. So it's definitely a brand that's more on the luxury high-end price point. Take a deep dive into it. Alicia Archer does some incredible videos describing her collections that she has been using for the last three or four years. And I think that most of the collections that have launched, she has done videos on. Great resource for this. Amra's Beauty is as well. Other than all of that, let's just get straight into this because quite honestly, I love all things Suku and it's really hard for me to not pick up their pieces. I have quite a bit of newness to get through. However, this is not new. I'm gonna prep with my Chantecaille. This is the Rose Skin Glow. Oh, no, Rose Face Tint, Sheer Glow. I always forget what it's called. I've done my skin prep. In fact, I started Tretinoin. I actually was supposed to start it a month ago. I didn't do that. <laughs> so much stuff came up. So I've been on it for a week now. My skin feels okay so far. Doesn't feel, ugh, I don't like using my hands. Doesn't feel crazy yet. I've, I've heard stories about your skin drying out and being real flaky. So far, I have avoided that. Done my eyebrows. I'm trying to get into the habit of doing my eyebrows before I do my face makeup, just because I don't like doing my eyebrows. I think they're boring. And I'm gonna try to primarily use my brand new brush set from Danessa, Danessa Myricks X My Kit Co. The Yummy Skin Brush Collection. I picked up the entire collection. This is a My4 brush. I am going to very quickly color correct with my Charlotte Tilbury first. I've hit pan, I'm getting quite a ways through this. I'm trying to just focus on this before buying any other new color corrector. A couple of these products are not new, but I need to use them to kind of fill in the gaps. And then I do have a couple new things that I am gonna use. Not too many though. And this is a My10 brush. I actually really love the size and shape of this. I meant to do this before color correcting. This is the new NARS Light Reflecting Makeup Setting Mist. I actually really like this so far. I still need to keep using it. I've used it a couple times since I picked it up. It has a bit of a coconut scent to it, which is kind of, it's not bad. I like it. I don't need a scent in any of my makeup by, by any means, but I like it. I'm trying to get into the habit of using a spray before my makeup, but after my primer, if that makes any sense. I'm gonna use my Suku. This is the foundation in the shade 210. One of my favorite foundations of all time. Let me absolutely prep with the spatula this time. If you watched my rankings video on my top threes in every category, you know how much I love this foundation. I wish these were more accessible in the US though. That's my that's my biggest complaint. I want some of these products available here. I guess I'm spoiled. But right now, I can only get these off of Selfridges and Harrods, like international shipping. Believe it or not, I did not pick up a bunch on my spatula. It looks like I did though. I'm gonna use a My 11 brush for this. I've really been liking this brush. I don't know if I like it more than my Sigma foundation brush though, but it is really nice. It's got quite a bit of density to it. Not really shearing out coverage much at all. This has been an absolutely wild month for me. I now have another child who's graduated high school and in two months he goes off for the military. He joined the Air Force, so I won't have much time for him. Sorry, I won't have much time with him for much longer. I'm trying to get in as much as possible. And he and his dad and I have every day planned for, well, almost every day planned for workouts. We do have rest days planned in there as well because he needs it. And we are going to do our best to help him get into shape as much as possible before he leaves. Plus I need it and his dad needs it. And we're just gonna go over this really quickly with my sponge, pick up any excess. So I'm gonna use my NARS Light Reflecting Eye Brightener. This is actually new to me. I have not used it yet. I picked mine up in the shade Night Swan. However, it does look a little bit deep for me right now. I don't know, they only had a couple shades. They didn't have a bunch of shades. I feel like it's missing a couple shades. I am gonna use this pretty quickly and see if I can get away with using it just as a concealer. I did read on the reviews that they do use it as just a concealer, which I think is odd because I thought it was supposed to be used underneath concealer. I'm just using my same My 10 brush for this. I don't really wanna use a different brush. I can't tell if it's really doing anything. I don't, I don't think it's brightening my eye. Maybe just the fact that it's not 
the right shade in general and this one is the lightest shade but it doesn't look like it's doing anything i mean it has coverage to it which is good but i can't tell if it's making my under eyes brighter maybe it is it's got luminosity to it but so does the foundation i'm not 100 percent on this yet i i need to play with it more but i can't really tell if it's doing anything and it doesn't look brighter i'm gonna set my face one more time i'll probably go through this way too quickly then before I do any powdering, I'm gonna use my new makeup by Mario. This is the liquid bronzer that he just launched. I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far. I know liquid bronzers aren't for everyone, but I've really, really liked it. I feel like this one is really easy to use. I'm just gonna work this into my brush off the back of my hand first and then kind of build it up a bit. And this is a My6 brush. Such a good brush for this product too. I'm excited to give this a try. I have seen a couple reviews on this. I saw Alicia's Alicia's review of this, so I'm gonna be very careful. I'm going to use a My8 brush. It's the angled kind of flat top. It reminds me of a BK Beauty brush. I think this will be a good size for it. This one's a large, it comes in like a um, large, medium, small. This one's the large angled one. I'm gonna try using this on my lips today as well, but I just, oh, let me touch it first and see what the texture's like. I. Just for full disclosure, don't normally do this, but I, I wanna know what the texture is. I don't like putting my hands into cream products. Okay. Shears out nice. Maybe I need to work it into back of my hand a little bit, just get it in those bristles. Let's take a look. I think this is a good brush for it. I mean, it definitely fits in there perfectly. I don't see it disturbing my foundation at all, so that's a plus. I really like the tone of this blush. I think it's beautiful. It's not as bright pink as I thought it was from the pictures. It's a little more toned down. I was afraid this would be too tacky, but it is just perfect. Perfect for summer. I think I'll get a lot of use out of this. The texture feels amazing. It feels not tacky, but not totally dry yet either. So before I apply any powder products, I want to give this a little bit of time, see how long it takes to set down on its own. I'm not going to try to build it up. I don't want to ruin my makeup by any means because if I build it up and it kind of eats away at my foundation, I don't want to take the time right now with what I'm doing today to fix it. But I think this is so beautiful. And if it works out, I gotta buy at least the berry shade, the deep berry. I'm gonna try this on my lips really quickly just to kind of see what it would look like. I'm not gonna take my lip mask off because I'll define them and fix them later. This is a My 40 brush. I think this is a beautiful blush shade and I kind of like the color on the lips. I'll fix that a little bit later, but I'm going to use my Surratt liquid highlighter. This is the shade Fru Fru. It's a little bit more pink toned. I'm going to place it on the back of my hand first and work it into my sponge. Kind of pick it up here, work it in really good and place it over the top of that cream blush. I have absolutely been loving this liquid highlighter. This thing is so beautiful. This thing deserves way more hype. The formula is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love this. Not talked about enough. I'm gonna get the lightest shade. I think there's um, a light champagne shade. I can't remember the name of that one. La May, I think it is. I need that one. I prime my eyes with the Sigma Ignite Primer. I'm gonna play with the new Suku Quad in Ryuichigo, which is number 138. This thing is so beautiful. I love these more cool tone shades here and this pop of purple. Now, I wouldn't have pictured this as a summer quad. However, I could see it that way. When I see it in person, I can see it. It felt more like a fall quad to me in the promotion photos. I'm gonna use a Danessa Myrick's My Fluff Brush. This one is a small, 
number my 19 I'm gonna do something a little bit different I'm gonna pick up the pink shade and build this up all through my crease Place it a little bit on the outer corner here. I'm gonna get a little bit of that on the outer corner. Don't really care about having too much there on the outer corner. I'm gonna to try to build this up mostly in my crease. And I really love this brush for getting into my crease. This is a small, but I mean, it's actually quite a bit larger than a lot of the pointed crease brushes I use. I do really love the Suku Matte Formula. I think it's an incredible flattering formula, especially for mature lids. It's not too sheer, but it's not too opaque either. They're very blendable. I heavily debated picking up the other quad in the collection as well. It's more warm toned orange yellow matte shades to it. I still kind of want that one because quite frankly, I love yellow mattes, but also I just, I don't know. I see the warm tone palettes coming back and I feel like they're gonna make a huge hit this year. I'm gonna leave that there for now and I'm gonna pick up a My 30 brush. This is a beautifully pointed tapered brush here. I love this for those deep creases. I'm gonna pick up this khaki shade. I wanna say it's like got a greenish undertone to it, a little bit of a taupe. I'm gonna use this to build up in the outer corner. It's definitely an interesting combination with that pink and the purple. To work it off of my brush first. I'm a little afraid of muddying, so this will be interesting. And I just love this brush. Like I can feel it right there in the crease. It's not, it's not harsh by any means. Very soft. I just know I'm getting right into that crease. Goodness gracious, that is so beautiful. It makes me want to go buy the other quad. I'm gonna pick up that same shade on a My 35 flat brush. I'm gonna use this to kind of build up on my lower lash line here. Now this brush, I feel like does not have the softness that I need. It's not as soft and doesn't have as much movement to the bristles as I would like. A little too stiff. Might be the first brush in this collection I don't like. So unfortunate. I'm gonna use a My23 brush. I'm gonna pick up that pink shade here on the edge of the brush. Use this to smoke out that taupe. I'm gonna use my Pat Intensifies stick here. I'm gonna place this all over the lid. I'm gonna start with a My24 brush and pick this deep shade, place it on the outer third of my lid. Oh, that's deep, okay. I wasn't expecting that much depth to it. It's got a nice black base to it. I guess I should have swatched it first. Hindsight's 2020. And now I, oh, you know what? I forgot to use the intensifies wand on the right eye here. And you can kind of see the difference between the two. I don't know what is wrong with me today. This one is quite a bit brighter. This one, not so much. So if you don't want as much impact, don't use the wand. I'm going to take a My 36 brush and pick up this purple reflect shade. I might switch to my finger. I tend to have better luck with Suku shadows on my finger. Yeah, I'm gonna switch my finger here. It's not really looking the way I was hoping it would. There's such a difference between that deep shimmer and the bright shimmer. And this is the eye that has no intensifies wand on it. I'm gonna take that My24 brush and I'm going to pick up this soft shimmer purple. I'm gonna use this to kind of help blend the two shades together because there's such a harsh difference between the two metallics. I feel like without the intensifies wand, this one ended up blending a little bit better. This one, not so much. That blend is just gonna drive me nuts. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna take that My30 brush I used with this khaki shade and I'm going to help build up what I lost on the outer corner here. And just kind of help smoke that edge a little bit better. Gently go back around the edge of those shimmers. And take your time, don't rush the blend. 
already looking much better. I'm going to take that pink shade on the pencil brush. This is a My 17. I'm going to use this on my inner corner. Just because it needs a little something something. It's not really bright enough for that though. Oh, what am I going to do? Nope, I don't like that for the inner corner. So I'm going to use that same brush to pick up that bright purple shimmer shade. Place it right over the top. That's better. Not as bright and impactful as I would like for an inner corner, but then I'm going to take a My 27 brush, pick up that same shade, and in the brow bone we go. It's not looking exactly where I'd like it, but I am going to do some mascara and liner and come back and just kind of finish off this whole look. Maybe it'll come together in the end. I'm hoping it will. While that lash glue is drying, I'm going to use my Natasha Denona I Need a Rose Lip Crayon. I think this one is in the lightest shade, Peony. I'm going to line my lips with this and then use that Suku Cream Blush on my lips. I'm going to smudge it out with my fingers. And now I'm going to use that cream blush on my lips. This is a My 18 brush. It's a large pencil shape. I'm going to use this to fill in and then I'll smudge it out with my fingers after. My lips are feeling a little bit dry and I had that lip mask on the whole time. Just don't want to use my fingers in the pot. I'm going to do it anyway because something is just a little too dry on my lips. My lips are just feeling so dry. I used the Kaleidos lip mask. I'm not sure what is going on. I think the formula would feel a lot better if my lips didn't feel this way. I don't know what to do about that it, other than to wipe it off and just use a balm. But I want to be fair to the product. I just, it's settling okay. Like it's not sitting in my lip lines. It's just my lips feel dry for some reason. So I think the product is actually good for your lips. Just it's a me problem, not a it problem. I'm going to take my Surat bronzer on a My 14 brush. And this is the shade Soleil Du. I actually love this bronzer. I'm going to gently bronze up in the back of my cheekbones here. My forehead just a touch the blush did not stay tacky it's settled and it's dried down completely I'm not gonna put anything over it my skin with makeup on it I think the tretinoin is definitely drying me out more than I expected despite the fact that I still moisturize appropriately my foundation and everything on it doesn't look as healthy as it normally does this is not my first time with this foundation my skin actually looks kind of rough especially here the inner corner of my eyes and under eyes. My makeup is just looking really bad. So let's just spray and set. I'm gonna have to try this again on a different day and moisturize differently. Honestly, it could just be the NARS cream concealer that I used because it's only looking rough where I placed that NARS product. So that could be the problem. Otherwise, I've never had my makeup looking so dry and a little bit peely. Here is my completed look. I think in the end it totally came together. I was not so sure once I started playing with the shimmers if it would look okay, but eventually it did. I am overly happy with how this all worked together. I can't say I'm super excited about using the cheek product on my lips. I think that might need a little more work on my end because my lips are just feeling dry for some odd reason after I took off the lip mask. It's strange, I'm not sure what it is. I wanna start with the cream blush. This one actually surprised me. I'm very, very happy with the formula. I think this is a very sophisticated, dewy formula. It's set down in a nice time frame. I'm not gonna use anything over the top of it. I wanna see how it lasts, how it wears. I think it just has a healthy, glowy, dewy look to it, no shimmer, and I enjoy that. I definitely wanna pick up SO3, the berry shade. Overall, I don't think I would reach for this over more of a liquid blush. I feel like this one has a little bit more of a learning curve to it. I enjoy it though, and I still really have my eye on that berry shade. I think it would be beautiful for fall. And while I only picked up one quad, I love the formula. I'm so used to the Suku formula. I think it's absolutely incredible and sophisticated. I was a little worried playing with the two metallics because of how different they are. One has a black base, one has no base. And I really had to finesse it a little bit. I should have swatched it first. I did not swatch it first. I am happy that I used the pat intensifies on the left eye and not the right eye so I could see the difference in how they play with a grippy base versus 
without a grippy base. This one is really reflective. This bright shade has so much reflectivity to it and it's just, it looks so dewy on my finger and it has just this lovely luminosity to it. I love it. I wish the, the khaki shade was actually quite a bit deeper. I would be okay with that and where the metallic was not as deep with a black base, but a little more mid-toned. I feel like that would have worked better for me. But after it's all said and done, I'm super in love with the look. I think the eyes turned out beautiful, but that's it. You guys know the drill. Everything on my face is linked down below if you click on those links to make a purchase. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.